This episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Check them out at manscaped.com forward slash forge. Hello, welcome to my home, not the workshop. A few of you have asked, where are the videos on the house renovation, Alec? Well, progress has been limited, so there's been little to share. As it turns out, demolition is significantly cheaper and easier to plan than renovation. But today, we're gonna be cracking on with a few projects that I have to do, because you remember that point I made about easier to plan? We'll come on to the kitchen. Over here in what's gonna be the kitchen, there is currently a door. And we don't need this door. It doesn't wanna be here. We're gonna have an oven here, so we want this to be a wall, and so we need to brick this up. And had I planned correctly, I would have been able to have a builder come and brick this up. But because I don't plan, let alone correctly, I need to learn how to brick up a door myself. So obviously from the outside, it's just the red brick exterior of the house. Where the door frame is installed, we have whole and half bricks. And from a little bit of research online, what I can understand is that for us to replace this door frame with brick, we're actually gonna need to tooth out these half bricks remove them so that when we put our brick wall in, it's tied into the original structure of the house. You also see that we have plenty of width, which is very important because we'll need one layer of brick as well as one layer of block with a little cavity down the middle. So now we're gonna take the door off the hinges and cut out the door frame. Go. Oh no, that's half the doorway. Isn't that just a gorgeous bit of wood? It looks like a lintel. Now it's time to cut the teeth. So I've come inside to check and see how much dust was getting through, and it is nasty. This is not doing anything at all. So we need to like properly seal this off. Right, so far we're off to a very messy start. In trying to take out the first half of the brick to make this toothing, I've broken one good brick that needs to stay there and uh, I've made a jolly good mess. It's very worrying, this is the first step and we are already struggling. Jamie, we've bloody done it! Only 50 more to go. Might we be on a roll? We're back at the workshop real quick to thank today's sponsor, which is Manscaped, which is created to take care of your most precious parts, gentlemen. Now, Manscaped has hooked me up with their all-in-one performance package 4.0, so let's have a look inside. We've got the Lawnmower 4.0 Body Trimmer. It is their fourth generation electric waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts for the most sensitive regions of the body. It's got a cordless charging system, LED lights on the front to show you how much battery you have. It'll run for up to 90 minutes with a full charge. The package includes Crop Preserver, which is a ball deodorant, and Crop Reviver, a ball toner spray, lather on the preserver after a shower for all day body odor protection. Now they've got you covered from head to toe, even up the nose. This is their weed whacker, again with the skin safe technology, so there'll be no tugging on those sensitive nose hairs. Now when you go to manscaped.com forward slash forge to get this package, you'll get 20% off, you'll get free shipping, and when you use code forge at checkout, you can get two free gifts. Their beautiful travel bag called The Shed and the Manscaped anti-chafing boxer briefs. Please check them out at the links below. Thank you for sponsoring this episode. Let's get back to the wall. Right, so it's now time for us to work on the block work. Now you might be wondering if you're uneducated in the world of bricklaying, what is the difference between a brick and a block? I'll let you know. Thanks to years of experience and a hard won apprenticeship, I now know that this is a brick and this is a block. The difference is, this one's much bigger and it's grey. After every couple of layers of block work, which is going to be the interior skin of the wall, we're going to need to put one of these things in, which is a bit of metal. <laughs> In 
in she goes. Let's go round up the hose. Okay, there's a little water. Do you reckon that looks about good? Right, so in preparation for this project, I went and bought some tools from the uh, bricklaying aisle. Here's one of them, here is another, and this. We also have line pins. I believe these are for accuracy, so we won't be needing them. And we have one of these, which I believe is a trowel. You can tell I've been studying. I watched a number of episodes of Bob the Builder. Let's see what we think. All right, look at that. How do you tell when it's done? Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, I should probably put some a little bit up there, shouldn't I? Or you put it on the block itself. All right, let's drop that one. Ah! <laughs> that might be alluding to some sort of problem in my cement mixture. It doesn't stick. It's meant to stick, right? It's maybe a little bit too liquid, perhaps? No, I think not liquid enough. Not liquid enough? Wow. That's not very good, is it? It's so difficult, I cannot believe it. Why the hell did I think I could do this? Didn't look this bloody hard on Bob the Builder. Ah! Oh, God! What have I done? Oh! Oh, God! Shit! 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 I think it's silky dry. You think? It's so heavy! <laughs> how can I help? How else can I do it? This was the stupidest thing I've ever done. How does that not fit, Jamie? Oh, I just peeled off all the stuff! <laughs> I'm going to have no wife. I will be divorced when she sees this. If I get this wall done, we'll have all of this drama for the beginning of the video. And if it actually looks nice, it's gonna be all the more better. I did preface all of that with ifs. Time for take three. See if the consistency's better now. You're meant to be able to. <laughs> now not enough mortar. How is that physically meant to be possible? When it just squeezes up the bloody mortar. <laughs> this was so stupid. Sorry? You wanna give it a go? Jamie, I'd love for you to give it a go. Right, so Jamie has decided to give it a shot, and right now he's looking infinitely more professional than me. He butters his brick. In it goes. Where on earth did you learn to be such a good bricklayer? Because that looks mighty professional. After Jamie's expert tuition, I'm now ready. Disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing either. <laughs> you have a little bit more of an idea than me. Oh, look at that. How is that possible? You put this brick in sideways. <laughs> <laughs> you put that brick in... Sideways again? No, I didn't. I put the brick sideways again. <laughs> no. <sighs> now, I tell you what, you wouldn't believe it. We wouldn't believe it at 10 o'clock this morning with how things were going then. But we have what looks like a bricked up doorway. Shockingly, it's unbelievable. We're really starting to get into the groove of things. What do you think, Jamie? Yeah, I can't believe how we've picked it up. I think we're ready to build an entire house now. We've been doing like a row each at a time and it's been a good competition who has been the least Yes, absolutely. And at the beginning of this, it was essential that while one was suffering, the other had the opportunity to laugh before it was their turn to suffer. And uh, yeah, make for a good time. It's been a fun day. Turns out, I missed a very important component at the beginning of the day, and that is mortar plasticizer. We had it sitting right there, and we were wondering why our mortar was pretty terrible. Turns out it needed mortar plasticizer. And this magic box of tricks means that the stuff actually sticks to the bricks. And we have a lovely looking doorway, don't you think? We're almost done. We're gonna have to split a brick in half, but the thing is gonna work. Look at that! It's now another glorious morning, and let me tell you what, I am feeling confident. I think we're ready to start a bricklaying company, Jamie. Yeah, I've already laid my brick in the loo this morning, so now I'm ready to lay some bricks on this wall. Nice. Taste 
delightful. Speaking of laying bricks in the loo, look at that lovely concoction that you have mixed up. Right, let's do the test. So you put a little bit on the trowel, flip the trowel upside down, and it's not meant to fall off. Look at that. That is trust. That glorious grey-brown sludge looks ready for us to start bricklaying with the most important part, which is the exterior part, where we will hopefully not do such a bad job that we completely destroy all of the value of my house. I flipped the mixer. This is very embarrassing. How is that possible? This project, in my head, went from being totally possible to utterly impossible to now, as I'm stood here in front of the wall that feels solid, being one of the biggest challenges of the last year of making things. This was orders of magnitude harder than I could have imagined.